Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, just a, a little quick review on the Essentials uh, Slimline Dishwasher. It retails up today at the moment £170. And uh, basically, this is the Slimline Dishwasher. Now, um, I only got it yesterday and I've done about four washes in it. Uh, quite a lot of people have commented and said some slight bad points uh, to the to the dishwasher um, and I can't see how them bad points are actually relevant um, so basically it's 10 plate settings just before we do start let's just go by the serial number what they say if it focuses in on here, there we go. CDW45W18. That's the model number for it. So, some of the complaints are saying the cuttery. No, the cuttery. They're saying the gaps are not big enough for the cuttery. So, unless they're eating with shovels, um, I can't see that point because each square is numbered like these little squares here are numbered number one so you would put a teaspoon in there and then the second one the next bigger one is numbered number two um, then the bigger ones are numbered number three so it goes one two three now I can get my cutlery in there and it's, it's a bog standard knife so they must be using a garden fork yeah, and a shovel if they can't get them in the gaps. Now the teaspoons fit perfectly in there and they're not going to go around or anything. You can lift it up and don't use it. Uh, for instance, for a knife, a knife here. Um, just for instance, you can put it in to say it won't fit in number two, and obviously it won't fit in number one, so you would need a number three and it would fit in perfect. So I can't see the valid comment of what people are saying. Uh, they're too small. Obviously, they can't see the numbers one, two, or three for the slot for them to go into. Uh, bigger knives, you won't put knives you actually cut with like a big knife like this obviously you wouldn't put that into the rack anyway um, it's just for your cutlery um, and basically these uh, is a bog standard fork as far as I'm concerned and they fit in practically every hole in there so I can't see that's a valid point the, um, the other thing is people say the tray keeps falling off um, I can't see that as a another valid, you know, minus point um, because it, it literally doesn't. Um, if you pack, it says in the manual if you pack it uneven, it it could come off the rail. So you have to sort of like pack it evenly. But um, as I say, I've only had this yesterday, and I've done a total of about four washes in it so far um, but I've had no problem with that um, another comment people do say is um, there's not much room for large cups well I've got a standard cup there um, and it fits in perfectly I've got a small cup which the small cup can actually fit on the top with no no problem whatsoever providing Providing there's no cups underneath, it will fit on the top, the small one. But then again, like I say, I've got them cups in there, so it may not go in. It doesn't go in that way, so I just put it there anyway. Uh, for large pots and pans, um, I tend to put my pans along here. Um, I can put a pan, can put a pan here with the plates along there at the back. So I can get my pans in. Uh, the other thing is, is the salt. A lot of people say that that's the salt there. 
um, it holds I measured just a little over one kilo that I hold but in the manual it is say add one to two kilos you can't get two kilos in that yeah but um, it just I measured it it holds just over one kilo a lot of people do say that the light uh, on here <coughs> let's turn it on this indicator here is the salt level and they're saying the indicator is still lit even though the salt's full now when you first get it, it it's lit to say it's it's empty or there's not enough it needs refilling um, practically you've got to refill that salt up to the rim yeah and then you've got to do at least program three or higher than three yeah for that light to go out yeah it won't go out probably on the first wash nor probably the second wash but on the third wash and so on it will go out so basically um, my rinse aid the top light is out because it's full to the rim my salt is full to the rim so it's gone out a lot of people saying the light's not gone out because they haven't filled it with enough salt is basically what I'm saying uh, the other problems people have is the programming now I've just turned it on you turn it on this is the program so you've got like uh, program one uh, they're saying a uh, quick wash is a number two 30 minutes and they're saying it doesn't dry the dishes well the dishwasher doesn't dry the dishes um, you have to have it on program three or higher than three for drying the dishes program one and program two will not dry dishes so basically your dishes will come out soaking wet um, number program number one is a pre-wash it will only rinse your dis dishes it will not wash dishes it just rinses them basically for 15 minutes program so this is uh, program one you keep pressing it till you get the so the first light there is program one your second light is program two three four and if you want program five both lights light up to represent the program five so program one is a 15 minute pre-wash only um, a rinse kind of thing it just rinses all the crap off the plates and stuff 30 minutes wash is a pre-wash plus it'll wash the dishes but it will not dry them so your program three is is an hour long um, yeah it takes an hour but that's including drying of the dishes a lot of people do comment say I would like uh, some sort of timer <coughs> timer on here to say when your dishes uh, and basically it's completed the cycle well the way to um, find out when it's done is when you've actually set it there's program three and then you have half loads you can hold that for half a second or a few seconds and that's now saying half load if it's not full and then we just press the start button and then a few seconds later it will show up program one and then you'll hear it start filling up with water and then it will rinse your dishes then about 15 minutes later the light of program two will light up to say the dishwasher is washing the dishes now and it's now hot in the water then it will go to program three is what you've selected uh, program three then is practically washing your dishes and then it's drying them and then at the end of the cycle when it's completely finished it will go to program four the light will be on this light will be on this light will be on and that light probably will be on so all the lights will be on but program four represents your programs have finished and now you can open the door um, yeah so basically when your dishes are done just open the door ajar so basically if you have it like that it will close so I just leave it like that uh, and just let it cool down a bit and it, it basically dries the dishes a little bit more 
So with uh, a lot of the miners' comments on the Curry's website, uh, it's practically um, probably not reading the instructions properly of how, how to use it. Some comments have said, you know, I've pre pressed it on program four, but uh, three, but it's lighting up program four. It does represent uh, the hardness of the water. So for instance, I turn my washing machine on and it lights up P4. That is actually the hardness of the water, which it's set for uh, when, when you first turn it on. You've got, um, I can't remember how you do it now, but if you, if you turn it off, press and hold program till it flashes. Uh, press and hold that, sorry, turn it on. That's it. It should flash, there we go. And it's set for program free. I think that one there is for the uh, rinse aid. Uh, so how much rinse aid it uses, so it's on free. Um, so I think the other one there. So anyway, basically you press the program, you just turn it off. And uh, it's supposed to represent how much salt level you is, and this is actually programmed um, to four at the moment for the, the salt. So basically when you first turn it on, it's always saying program four. So if you want to wash your dishes, you have to go press it till it actually gets to the program you want to get it on. When you press start, it will show up program one. Uh, and you, you, at first, yesterday, when I first got it, and I thought, I don't want program one, I wanted program three. But it actually starts with program one, then goes to program two, then it finishes at program three, what you wanted it on. But then when it's ended, it will show the program four. So basically, it's straightforward. Some people have said, uh, the instructions are not very clear well they're crystal clear to me um, it's big enough writing um, I've literally read the whole manual uh, yesterday uh, the first few pages is a bit about installation which you've already done the installation so it's uh, you can bypass half of that. Um, that was the test they did to show your hardness of your water. Mine came out at three. Uh, so I said level four, which basically I've set. Um, it does. Uh, the factory settings are at number four. They're at number four already. So your number four will flash uh, or stay on when you first turn it on because that's what it's set to. Uh, because mine came out on free, so I had level four. Uh, the softener is set, uh, factory setting to number three, which you can adjust if your glasses come out with like water marks over it. Um, so basically, yeah, the the instructions are, are pretty straightforward. Uh, easy to read and there's also illustrations to see what you're actually doing so, so basically uh, the instructions do say which probably a lot of people haven't read where it says my dishes are coming out soaking wet because program one is a pre-wash and basically that's everything there it do um, so it's just a pre-wash and then it ends, it just rinses your dishes. Program number two will wash, cold rinse, hot rinse and then end. So your dishes will come out soaking wet. Now program three is a pre-wash focus. Wash, cold rinse, hot rinse, dry and then it will end. 
so it's got to be on program 3 or higher to dry the dishes. Program 1 or program 2 will not dry your dishes. So some people have commented saying that you know it doesn't matter what setting it's on it won't dry the dishes. Well that's down to, to a fault in, in the dishwasher itself. So I'd contact the, uh, the seller of where you bought it from. Uh, that, that's all I can say. Uh, I bought this from Curry's and I picked it up. It was brought it back. I fitted it myself and everything's worked perfect. Um, I'm setting it all up. So these are basically all your functions down to six. So basically, um, I wouldn't know why anyone would want number six anyway. Um, it's not going to focus. It's wash at 43 celsius so it's basically a hotter wash um, my program 3 will take an hour um, and program 6 can take anywhere up to like 3 hours long so a lot of people do say they, they are long which not really because program 3 is an hour and that's pretty standard on all, all dishwashers um, yeah, so if you want like four, five, and six, you know the the hotter washes, um, then it is going to take a bit longer. But um, I've so far just stuck it on program three. That's basically washed um, and, and dried the dishes perfectly. Um, you know, programming it is all pretty straightforward. So. I can't see uh, why why people can't read the instructions properly um, and how the cleaning process it's actually il illustrated so um, I can't see how people can't get on with the instructions because it's quite clear um, basically that's it um, I put my glasses in yesterday uh, and it, it's come out crystal clear uh, with no marks on it whatsoever because my water was tested I tested it with a strip uh, the, the factory had done the settings on there and it matches my water and it, it came out dry and it was perfect now this this is my biggest pan this is my biggest pan and that went in the dishwasher yesterday after when I did my cooking and basically it came out like brand new. Uh, so basically uh, that, that's everything on my dishwasher. Let's just turn it off now. There is no automatic turn off when, when the cycles are complete. Um, it will remain <coughs> on. Um, it won't switch itself off after that is sort of like a downside really um, if you wanted to set the program uh, you go into bed at night and you want it to come on and it's all finished in the morning you could press three hours six hours two lights is nine hours so if you set it I know eight nine o'clock at night this would be all on using electricity all night till five six o'clock the next morning it would start and then it'd go through the program uh, basically all your dishes would be done time when you've got up in the morning but bearing in mind your dishwasher has been on all night and it will use electricity even though <coughs> all the lights are on now when you get up in the morning or if you wanted to lay in after when it has done the cycle and washed your dishes it will remain on so I can't really see the point in uh, the timer on here because it hasn't got automatic switch off so it's a bit pointless uh, so you might as well after tea or evening time is to come in switch it on do it cycle when it's finished to turn it off and you save more electric 
programming it to come on through the night or early hours in the morning is just pointless because you just wasted a load of electricity uh, all through the night so it's a bit pointless having a timer on there but apart from that it's a good dishwasher and it does its job okay thanks for watching and see you again soon